This is No Jumper, the coolest podcast in the world. And we got uh, the Young Crip Session, man. Uh, Brick Baby, Bonelli, Yui Dog, and APZ, man. What you understand me? Yeah, you know I mean, going these, going these, if y'all don't know who these people is, man, these are people that's real close to me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they come out my section. I ain't going to put too much on their name. Uh, I'm going to let them get into that. But they come out the section that we come from. And you know what I'm saying? It's just... Uh, I wanted to do this panel or this session re right here real quick so everybody you know that it's, it, it's motherfuckers in the hood that's living day-to-day -day life whose opinions really count and uh, they really agree and disagree on a lot of the foo foo goofy shit that's going on in the industry. So we right here to just, you know what I'm saying, tap in. Uh, we got Yui Dog right here. We gonna start this way. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Yui Dog, what you do, man? You know, I'm rapping and trapping in the hood, trying to make it happen. So, rolling, that's all. That's all Would you prefer the, prefer you dog or Yui Dog, man? You dog, you dog. You dog. dog. You know what I'm saying? We got you dog, cuz. You, you say what you do? You you, you rapping and what? I'm rapping and trapping in the hood. Man, he getting it in bro. by all means, uh -huh. man. You know what I'm saying? Me? How old are you, bro? 20 years old. 20 years old? I'm rolling. Yeah, man, how long you been around in the section, man? You ain't Shit, all my life. Uh -huh. All your life, yeah. You already know, huh? Hell yeah, we got Don Bonelli, the infamous Don Bonelli, man. You understand me? My little homie now nah, just playing <laughs> nigga, my brody broke, cuz. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Me and him, we, we have the greatest conversations. We This all we do is argue and talk shit at the time. So, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to bring him on because he's one of the best tit talkers <laughs> in the in the, in the, in the, in the in the streets, not uh -huh. in the industry. But yeah, Bonelli, what is it that you do, man? What, what, what you got going on? Uh, man, you know me, man, I just, I do a little bit of everything, you know? I do a little bit of everything, man. I do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm just always in the mix. Man, I seen you on Fig the other day, <laughs> man. I don't know what you got going on, hey, man. You know what I'm saying? Look, man, you know what I'm saying? I just, you know, I look for what looks for me. Uh, you know hey, uh... Man, so you just gonna skip over the the, the part that you a dope ass rapper? I mean, cause you don't want to be a rapper today, uh, cause I was sick. I mean, so you know, you know, I, I fuck around. You feel what I'm saying? I don't, you know, I fuck around. Yeah, <laughs> they, they, fuck they, around. yeah, nah. You, you, I, I, I bought you on stage, bro, cause this is the this is building the gap. This is a real. This is what. I, this is the reason why the panel is here because they these is real talented street niggas really be in the streets and don't even condone half the shit that go on with the rap community to even call themselves a rapper. But f that nigga, you a rapper and you gon' you nigga, nigga you yeah, negate okay. how you the narrative that they that they give it. You get what I'm saying? Nah, you the sure, one in control sure. of that. For sure, no, 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 that's true. But I definitely do rap though. I f around, you know, I got some bars. <laughs> I could, you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm smooth with it. He go crazy off the top, bro. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh you know what I'm saying? We got one of the scorers here, too. These, these two is, is some scorers, oh, too. Up. You know what I'm saying? This big gutter, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, we got APZ in the building, man. If it ain't APZ, man, what's oh, no. the deal? I don't know, man. Man, he too fly with the Versace joint, so, yeah, man. He yeah. talking about f what oh, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. I met my boy in the field. Uh, uh, uh. You know what I'm saying? Getting his money and all that shit. When I first came home to you, know, we ain't gonna dig deep into what's going on. But yeah, my 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 young is definitely a road runner, man. What is it that you do out there? You ain't gotta incriminate yourself. I, I don't know what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? But what is it that you do? You rap? You trap? I mean, I ain't got no criminal activities going on. For just, sure, I'm just out here trapping. You know, making my money. You know, said no out criminal activity. Gangland. I'm out here trapping. Hey, I heard the fuck. Out of that. <laughs> nah, but 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 uh, I ain't I ain't seen you on no rap songs or nothing though. APZ, you been rapping shit, a little uh, bit. I, I see you dibble dabble a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit. And then rapping in high school and then song out yeah. of high school, been cooling. You know? It's been cooling, huh? Regular, you know, regular shit. Mr. Valet, the tiny yeah. APs, the rapper man, he go oh, crazy. Well, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But but like y'all got the image, man, and this is the image that 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 these than the industry really won't, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all really got to look at him. He's just regular street. I mean, you would think he was a rapper out of town where, where when they go do what they do. You know what I'm saying? Um, it been a lot of niggas. Well, we gonna get straight to it. It been a lot of niggas in the industry, bro, uh, that just been like years off, like from John Morant to 
gonna to and, and and we ain't talk about no rat shit or whatever. Just you know what I'm saying, people that just been fucking their shit off. Uh even from when Dirk and them caught their little case, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, motherfuckers be in the league and be like, they got millions, multi millions, like forty million dollar contracts, hundred million dollar contracts, bro, and they busting their ass to to live this life that 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 they assume that we live in, and we busting our ass in order to live the life that they like we we looking at y'all as motivation and, and and they moving backwards so i mean whoever want to chime in first about it like like just overall before we get into like specific subjects or who did what y'all said like how you feel about about a, a, a multi-millionaire trying to fuck it off just to to prove that he's hood and our and it, where we from we say hood meaning that you that nigga so like like to prove that he hood like like he that nigga <clears throat> you're a weirdo i mean that's weird I feel like, I mean, I that feel like as a as a as a grown man, you know, I can't really dictate or tell another nigga how he should move or do what he should do when he in position and when he in a position that you know what I'm saying that he's in. But what I can say is that, you know, for the dudes that's like you know rappers and athletes and you know whatever they is and they got all that spotlight and they got all these millions of dollars and all this influence and shit, it's like don't don't work hard. To get on top, just to influence the culture to keep going backwards. Uh -huh. Like we got enough of that in the streets. Like me personally, I don't. I mean, like you know, we do what we do. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, we gang how we gang. But like, we don't really glorify this shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like when I see that type of shit. Like when I see them type of dudes doing that type of shit. It be to me, it be like, it be like, damn. Like you know, you got a chance to change the narrative. Like you know, influence and influence the culture to go the opposite way. But you want to be like, like you know, y'all trying to imitate niggas like us, and it's like, we don't even want this shit. Like, you when, know what I'm saying? We you, ain't, ain't asked for this shit. Well, like, you say glorify, right? Like, break down to the people, because it's obviously people tapping in right now that ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, like we know what glorifying this shit is, but it's like, like as far as glorifying, they feel like if we take a picture throwing up the set, we glorifying this shit. Nah. Or, hold on, hold on, this is real. Like, like if, or if... You know what I'm saying? Like we crept out. Like a motherfucker is born. This is our everyday program. You get what I'm saying? So when you say that, just because you see us doing that, we ain't glorifying it. Explain what you mean, like nigga. You know what I mean? Like I know what you mean, but explain what you mean, cause. So when I when I when I when I say like you know we don't glorify this shit, it's like you know we don't. Well, well, let me speak for myself. Let me yeah. speak for myself. Let yeah. me not speak. For, let me not speak for the whole. Let me speak for myself. When I say I don't glorify this shit, it's like I don't, I don't like, I'm not out in the world trying to influence the culture to do what I do. Like, I'm not. Like, you know, I do what I do because I just happen to do it. Is it safe to say that most of the shit that we do is shit that 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 a motherfucker gotta do to get by or to protect themselves if, if by any means? Like, you know what I mean? Like, most of the shit that goes on in the area, it's not. It's not like, oh, we wake up in the morning praying and do this shit. It's like if it come across our plate, we might have to handle it. Or if we sitting here trapping, it's it's, it's definitely to pay rent and to get the fuck up out of this area, like like trying to get, you know what I mean? Well, well, you know, you know I me, mean? I'm gonna always keep it scandalous. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna do do too much faking because, you know, sometimes I have those moments when I wake up and I pray for the bullshit. Like you feel me, but it definitely is fueled off of us having to handle business oh, because good. something else happened. Right, right, it's right. Not, it's it, it not because from... I got a million dollars and I want to be. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. It's definitely fueled off of what the ops did yesterday <laughs> or what they did. You know what I mean? Or you know what I mean? Right. But it, it could just... happen years ago. But if a nigga wake up mad about it, that's because right, we, right, right. we soiled in. It's just like you know, a nigga don't glorify this shit though. Like I say, a nigga not trying to influence nobody to. Throw their life away and you know what I'm saying, die or go to jail for nothing. Like a nigga not trying to, like, you know what I'm saying? That's what I mean when I say we don't glorify. I don't glorify. Like if a young nigga trying to come get put on, I'm going to tell him he don't want to get put on. Uh, I'm going to try to tell him. No, that's the script. Tell my little homie, you don't want to get put on the hood. Yeah. Uh, so, that's, the, that's the script. Because it's uh. like, nigga, you, you know what you signing up for, cuz at this day and age too, but uh, I'm going to get into. The generational since we got like four generations right here, we gonna get into generation shit too. Uh, but yeah, like you know what the fuck you finna sign up for, cause like nigga, do you know, nigga, that this is it? Like nigga, do you know your life would be critiqued every 
little shit that you do from this day on, nigga, if you don't stand on all 10, if you don't really go play ball, do what you got to do, nigga, do you know that you'll be politic every time that, you get what I'm saying? You're living a regular life right now. Where nobody, whoever judging you, it's your mama and your aunties, and you could close the door on them, tell them shut the fuck up. You have said when you step in our realm, you 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 the youngest. He older than you. Which one? How old, how old is you? Twenty two. Twenty two. So you the youngest homie right here, right? How old was it? How old was you when you jumped off the porch? We ain't gonna say. You know what I mean? Nothing. Shit. When I really was just in the streets, and huh, I was fifteen. Like I don't, I'm just in the streets. And huh, I was That's so where I, you got I, your I, name. Yeah. Hell no. Huh. When I got quartered on the hood, I was seventeen. Oh, uh, but you started, yeah, that's how I go. You participate. Uh, uh, you gotta no, say, yeah, you, like you, nigga gotta nah, get to know a nigga. Like, nigga was always banging the hood, though. That's something like that. Yeah, because cause you, I'm that's rolling. what I'm saying. A nigga, a nigga come from the soil, uh, so a nigga, you know what I mean? But like, when you, when, you, when you jumped off the porch, uh, what was the challenges not going into debt? What, like, like, it keep it 600, cuz, like, like, what gave you butterflies and what charged you up? Like, what did you, like, not not expecting, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, that shit happened. Oh, I didn't know I signed up for this. Because you you you, you, you really got the freshest memory of this shit. It wasn't really shit. A nigga was, a nigga grew up around all this shit, so it was like, you already know. Nah, it's the, nah, it's, it's the gangland, because there's certain thing. shit that, that not, you see. What seen. gave me butterflies, what gave me butterflies was, oh, shit. When the nigga first got put on, that's, all, that's the only thing. Y'all that's, know, that's yeah, the, yeah, you know, going back there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, yeah, the, only, yeah, that's yeah. the only thing, getting that out the way for me. But uh-huh. even not even butterflies as in no scary shit, because, like, nigga, butterflies could be your adrenaline rush yeah. or whatever. Like, like, like you know, it's just like, like, all right, say in a high school situation, a motherfucker, or if you ever been in jail or, like, not butterflies, but some shit that that you didn't see oh, no, coming. I, I guess, that, that 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 fucks you up when when you see it like, oh. I got, but you I don't guess, have to guess, do no. Don't go into no. If it's some crime, don't go into it. Nah, it ain't even no. Nah, I'm hood. All right. When a nigga was just out, I'm my first encounter just running into the enemies. I'm, I'm banging the hood like you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm six up. And you not knowing what what yeah, come next, but you know this what I'm it hood. is and this yeah, what I'm you signed up I'm for. Hood. But this the first encounter. I'm I'm that shit, that goofy shit. They got them. You know. I'm thinking these niggas for forty something. They got them F don't hat. Yeah. Really, I am from yeah. six, uh, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, cause uh, I, I know it's been plenty run ins. Yeah, uh, uh, oh, six, so yeah, that's right. So and uh, with these people listening or whatever, they they don't, they don't know what's going on. I ain't gonna break it all the way down, but it's like uh, what he said was the first time that 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 he really had an altercation with the other side after he he he, he officially been quoted on uh-huh. and 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 not knowing the circumstances, they 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 tricked them. With you know what I'm saying, wearing different apparel that that, uh, that 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 we wear out here, and when he find out it is what it is, nigga, the problems have to come. Uh, so uh, you get what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Y'all pick and choose y'all poison because this is the type of shit. Because we gonna go uh, on to nigga these NBA players, nigga these is real. This is living proof of, of what's going on in my area. Cause whether it's you know what I'm saying. Everybody play their position, but these is niggas that still got their feet on the soil every day trying to make it happen and mm-hmm. starting businesses and just now starting to expand and doing what they doing, selling merch and all that shit. You get what I'm saying? Hey, Peasy, you got you got a story, like you got a little situation that, that, that you know what I mean? Shit. Um, shit. I love this shit. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> shit. But but it. like like what was like a curveball like in the culture that that like all right, I think I'm ready for this shit. Then when not saying that you turn that because you wouldn't be here if you ever turned that down. But it's like oh this mm-hmm. shit really it. And you don't gotta go into no crime. But like if you got if you don't got one that ain't got nothing to do with that, just you know what I mean you could pass it up. It ain't nothing. <laughs> Cause we, what I'm not finna do is be on here like these other goofy niggas getting my my young niggas in trouble. That's out. Uh, um, we could go with a crime. We could say like <laughs> probably like a gun charge or something. You know, like that, yeah. That, if you already, um, if you're already, if yeah, you yeah, already yeah, convicted what, yeah, for it, yeah. That's yeah. Already, okay. Yeah, you can go with stuff. that. It wasn't mine, but shit. it wasn't mine though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like when you around a lot of people, you don't know who can switch up and who who gonna stay solid. So oh, you feel me? Up. It's just like when the number of y'all go down, it's like you thinking in your head like I'm gonna stay solid. But you feel me? The next nigga, you know, you always worry about the next. You ever nigga been told on? Uh, no, I haven't. You haven't been told on no. yet. Uh, and 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 uh, yeah, yeah. I just <laughs> said, I hey hey, you you could be told on and you don't even know. Like you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers drop names like motherfucking uh, 
flies around this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, though. So basically, you saying it's a gang of people out. You, it, it's a blick involved. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'll let you go down with the blick and it wasn't yours. And then it's like, and um, then when you in there, <laughs> when you in there, it ain't really none. It's not really none, but that that whole feel me like. Young nigga, first time doing. Oh, you when you, you finally hit the joint, yeah, yeah you man, you don't right. know what's going. That's what I was really. I I figured that that would be because that's damn near everybody's first day. Like, oh, I'm going to jail. This where it's at. Cause what's next? Cause exactly. on the dead homies, when these doors open, I didn't heard all these bus on stories. I didn't heard all these squabbling, great squabbling stories about fucking the laundry room, the day room, nigga up under the stairs at wayside. Whoa, 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 like nigga, that 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 was like my first. Nah, I, I had a gang of encounters, but that was like really my first like, oh, cuz this it. Like juvenile hall was it, cuz nigga, I'm sick. So juvenile hall, it wasn't no rules. Like, juvenile hall, nigga getting up, rushing the nigga. <laughs> nigga, you, you get what I'm saying? So when I hit the county, I'm thinking it's the same program. You get what I'm saying? So when I get there, I'm a nigga trying to tie my chucks. He trying to lace me up. I'm sick, so whoa, whoa. But I'm just like, cause if I see a op, I'ma just gas cuz. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I that's cause in jail, when I first I, so the first time I went to juvenile hall, I was a non-affiliate, cause I, I it was like when I was 14, and then I got put on at the end of me being 40, like turning 15. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So the first time I went, I I was from CIP, <laughs> I was from a clique, but I wasn't in uh East Lake cuz I was in um Silmore. They took me to Silmore because of where my shit was at. So when I bounce in there, I'm banging CIP because they not really knowing what's going on. But a nigga, a nigga from uh, uh, Rolling Twenty Bloods was one of, one of our ops. Uh, the BPS is because they thought we, they we used to run with the West Boulevards or whatever the case was, right? You know what I'm saying? Nigga, like, ooh, ooh, ooh. oh y'all baby wooty whoops, nigga. I need a fade. Da, 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 da. Oh, six so cuz I'm thinking that a nigga go to a cell, cuz get up and try to blitz a nigga. I, Grab the chair, nigga. I, run around. I ain't gonna lie to you, that nigga. And nigga end up squabbling, cuz right there in the day room, they talk about OC warning, nigga. I'm still locking. I, nigga, at RR, you hear about the OC warning, whatever the case is, and nigga get gassed up with the spray. I'm like, oh, cuz of uh-huh. uh, the dead ummies. But me thinking that it, I think that's what made me uh, get my game together when I came out. Like, nah, I'm gonna just make this shit official, cuz, uh, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? A nigga going in there, click banking, nigga. Uh-huh, you you really a non affiliate, uh-huh. but on hood, a nigga standing in his ground, but a nigga run with this pack of niggas. You can't really, like, you see a homie squabbling, you can't really rush a nigga yeah. with him being from a click. You get what I'm saying? And these are niggas that you, that you get along with. You know what I'm saying? So that's how a nigga end up really coming home, like, look, nigga, on the hood. Then I end up going right back to jail right after uh-huh. I got put on. But about Nelly, what was the what 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 what's the biggest curveball in the hood to you though? Like that that you've experienced that that you would want one of these niggas to well fuck what you want, nigga. When they get coded on to this shit, if they is what they is, nigga, what they will have to go through. Like what's the biggest curveball like that you put out there for these niggas? Like like nigga, don't come over here because nigga, you're not ready for this type of. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean the truth the truth of it is, I would say don't come. <clears throat> I would say don't come, period, just because based on, like, it's a whole lot of misleading going on. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole lot of, like, you, you know, feel false. like it's the blind leading the blind? In uh, certain, certain, I can't, in certain I, no, certain. Nah, listen, I'm not even going to say it's the blind leading the blind because the <clears throat> niggas that's doing them the misleading is not blind to what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a they, term. That's no, a no, term I know. I know, no, I know. But like, see, in order for the blind elite to blind, they really got to be that, blind. Right. You know, know what I'm saying? And what I'm saying that's is. That's why I like chopping it up with you. In this situation, what I'm saying is, it's not the blind leading the blind. It's niggas that know exactly what's going on and they still misleading. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? They they still misleading. And then, you know, social media don't make it no better. So, like I say, I, I would say don't come because nothing good comes from, like, nothing good comes from this life. Nothing good comes from, yeah, you got some niggas that make it out, yeah, look good, yeah, Six all up. this and all that, but though, nothing good come from this shit. Like, I we know. deal with a lot of losses, like, yeah. we deal with losses on the daily from jail to death, like, 
You know what I'm saying? This shit ain't like that's why I'm saying I don't glorify this shit because it's like I can't brag about it. Like I can't brag about the street life. Have you have you ever fell off like financially and somebody from your gang just gave you ten thousand dollars, five thousand dollars to get back on and really cared that your lights was on? Or... Well, I, I can't say that that somebody done that, but I can say that the times that I have been low, there has definitely have been some of my. Some of my good peoples that have been there and do care, yeah. I mean, you know, it's like it's like it's like street life or no street life. You know, you are gonna meet some people in life that give a fuck, and you are gonna meet some people in life that don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, just when you join the street life, majority of the people you meet gonna not give a fuck, but they gonna act like they do. That's what I'm about to say. Do you feel like uh, if if uh, black people, we're not gonna say gang bangers or nothing like that. You think if niggas. Overall, work together. Yeah, you can spark those. Up. Uh, That's that to me. Yeah. If motherfuckers like work together, you feel like if everybody worked together, because me and Cuz on Six O, me and Cuz got history, Cuz, and I love this little mm-hmm. nigga, Cuz on the dead homies. This mm-hmm. is my, this is you feel me? Mm-hmm. And I talk to you, mm-hmm. and when we 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 talk, and on Six O, I know mm-hmm. that the light that you see me in after we talk was like that. Uh, really, you get what I'm saying? Like, it, it, and we here to care for each other and teach each other, right? Like, as far as how, the, the the push that I'm pushing, but do you feel like we'd be stronger if it was more people that cared? Like, with certain situations like that, like instead of uh, going straight to violence or fuck, cause whoop whoop, or just like if, if if we showed a little bit more togetherness, unity in the section, like how they say. We're supposed to. Do you feel like gang banging would still be looked at as like a terrorist type group to the government? Like if everybody was to piggyback off each other, like say a Nipsey, uh, Nipsey came to the uh, he 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 opened up a business, and he didn't uh, he 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 employed as many people as he could employ. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But he really didn't have a uh, company that that involved that many employees. But right. if he did, he would give a job to anybody that was ready to get a job. You get what I'm saying? So you saying that do if, I if think it was that... more if it was more like unity to what... what we was doing and coming together with our dollars and making nothing out of something, do you think that it would be as much violence going on? Cause we have violence within and outside, not in the hood, but just you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like we're not digging deep, but you Everybody from LA that's watching the podcast understand what I'm saying. But in any hood, you got violence within the hood, mm-hmm. and then you got violence outside the hood. Do you feel like if everybody had came together and, and, and we and preached that same script, do you feel like gangbanging would be looked at as a terrorist group, whether it like how the NAACP is or Black Lives Matter? You get what I'm saying? Because those are also groups of black people that get together and uh, stand for something. Well, in truth, if, if we just be honest, I think that if if all the gangbangers came together and, like and everybody got on that type of stuff that you're talking about, I think we would be looked at as even more of a danger than we are now. Uh-huh. See, because right now, um, uh, right now, in the midst of everything that's going on, we're really only in a danger to ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We're not. We're not. You know, we're not affecting nobody but ourselves. But see, now when you talk about us coming together and, and getting our shit together and actually focus up on what needs to be focusing, opening these businesses and doing that. See, now That's we, what I'm talking about. No, no, I'm not talking I, about what, negatively. What no, 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 no. Yeah, but what yeah, I'm yeah. saying is, what I'm saying is, though, us doing that, now we're affecting outside of us because now we're affecting the economy. Now we're taking jobs. Now we're, you know what I'm saying, we're pulling resources. But, but... We got civil rights too. We human no, 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 beings. No. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. You ask me. You ask yeah, me. Yeah, no, no, no. What do I, I think we'll be looked at? Yeah, I'm just talking overall. Right, right. Yeah, I, I, I just yeah, think yeah. that we'll be looked at even more. So you think that we'll be a threat like the back, we'll like the Black bigger, Panthers were? We'll be a bigger threat. You think that they'll be trying to still end our our yeah. run? Why not? All right, but say that. Uh, basically, you feel like that it'll still be. Like a lot of murders, because this is if every hood was programming like that. I'm not speaking for the now, 60s. Do you about, mean now when you're talking about murders, are you talking about gang murders? Or are you talking about black, I mean, police murders and shit like that? Now, don't tell you. No, it's going to be police murders because well, no, they got to right. get their game together. What I'm saying is, do you think that with a whole lot of business, like, all right, I'm invested into this business. You invested into this business. So that means like no fuck shit could go on right here because we trying to run a business. And 
it's several different groups, just like we have packs in the you know what I'm saying, that run together. You know what I'm saying? It might be 10 to 20 people that just fuck with each other every day and that's their pack. And y'all all are invested in these companies right here. Mm -hmm. And then you got the A Trays. They all invested into their companies on Manchester. Then you got the families that's all invested in. And everybody's they all preaching this. You get what I'm saying? Like financial literacy all the way into motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. really policing their neighborhood alone. So only people we looking at is the government and the police. Do you feel like the government now, not 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 Edgar J. Hoover days, not when they mm -hmm. built this shit to break us down. I'm talking about the government right now today. Would they respect that more than us over there? You have said sometimes, nigga, when a murderer finds out it's a homie on homie, unfortunately, like the Nipsey thing, or you have said like. You get what I'm saying? Do you think it'd be senseless killing if everybody was invested in into these places that niggas are getting killed at? Okay, so you asking me two two questions. I'm one. asking you a lot of questions at right. once because you we, 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 we debating. The, like, would it still be like back though shit? No, 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 no. What he's saying is, what he's saying is, if everybody come together and everybody makes sense where they make sense at, would it back still be like the... reckless, reckless killings? Like niggas just on like ignorant, mm -hmm. just... just ignorant. You know I said the extra shit that makes us yeah. terrorists because you know. The killing is the if, if if you sell dope, you do all this shit. Say a spot could exist for about five years, cause just say just with no telling, just grinding, 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 no incidents, no squabbles right there, no harassing the neighbor, no nothing, until somebody gets popped right there. You get what I'm saying? Once the murders come in, and that that was just an example. So. All this shit was going on, the niggas start getting killed all in these areas. Now the police is looking into what the fuck these murders is about. Now they're judging us as terrorists because they're saying that these are senseless murders. Sometimes a kid gets killed. Sometimes a woman gets killed. The straight bullet goes through this window. So you get what I'm saying? The, the, I, so do you feel like if everybody was indebted to the shit that's going on in the hood that can be ruined, do you feel like the shit is still be going on? No. I mean, it probably was still going on because you can't control everybody, but mm -hmm. it wasn't going at the rate that it goes yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, that's what I sure. said. Sure. Sure. Do you feel like? Do on. you feel like that? That's something that because you, y'all generation, next, do you feel like that's something that y'all, when y'all get y'all chili, when y'all become millionaires, because nigga, every nigga around me gonna be a millionaire, man. Mm -hmm. But that's how we going. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when y'all do get y'all millions, you get what I'm saying? Do you feel like you gonna preach to your little homies to nigga go buy something? Woo woo, like. A spinning is a must. You, If they come play with us, it's a must. We're not even putting all of that on camera. You get what I said? We just said, do you feel like when you get your money, how is you go tell the next generation to to to, to hang on? It could be positive, negative. Just speak your truth. Because I'm hood. A nigga ain't, ain't telling you that you got to be on no square ball time nah, just because I'm talking proper. That's because these people yeah. right here that's watching this. You get what I said? I got to, I got to make sure they know what we talk about. Shit, I'm going to preach to them shit the same way I was preached to. Uh -huh. That's the only right way. I feel like, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> go go into depth about that because uh, <laughs> I mean like a little differently, but yeah, you know, yeah. but, no, because like oh, uh, I know exactly what you said, right? But, but, but for them, break it down a little bit more. Shit, I'm like just... like like you gonna preach what what was preached to you? You talking about from pops from 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 another figure or from from Bonelli and the people in our age group that holla at you from time to time? Like like from like the hood, just from the hood period. From the hood, just from the hood. Yeah, hood. Just nigga shit don't be you know like on hood. We stand on ten toes on hood. That's period. Rolling nigga like you know like. You feel like you've been giving the best advice that, that 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 since now that you over eighteen and you know about life, you feel like that everybody that that's older than you do you feel like they've get, given you the best advice in order for the, you to succeed in life? I got the best advice from the hood. I ain't gonna lie, the hood didn't taught a nigga right from wrong. Like if you really pay attention, if you know, if you really in the hood, you're gonna see and you like huh. Cause it builds your character. It builds your character just being around. Cause so. uh, 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 yeah, uh, cause it, it's two different IQs to be like it, it's 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 a book smart and then it's just smarts that you gonna have guess, from living on this earth and trial and error. And a motherfucker that's logic, like a motherfucker can't teach street smarts. The only way you can learn street smarts is being in the streets. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? So it's two different IQs and just because a motherfucker ain't Eli Musk don't mean that this dude ain't knowledgeable. You get what I'm saying? Cause so and, and that's why I really 
you have know said from time to time, nigga, me and cousin talk for two or three hours because this dude is really oh, yeah. knowledgeable and it's yeah. it's not off of a college <laughs> and not not no college college education or nothing like that. He actually did lived. How, how how much time have you did in prison? If you don't mind me asking, or just jail alone? How many years of your life have you been behind bars? Uh, oh, Nelly. Uh, probably like ten years. Like not 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 like not straight, like, but yeah, all together. It's like ten, eleven years. Do you feel like you learned learn how to 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 deal with? Different groups and classes of people for being in and out of there, or what? What? What makes you able to translate? Um, I feel like jail definitely taught me a lot. Like from every, from every, from juvenile hall all the way up to prison, mm-hmm. jail definitely helped me. It helped me grow. It helped me learn. Like you know, it definitely taught me a lot. I definitely did. I definitely learned a lot. Uh, you ain't been back to jail since since you got out this time. What was the turning point? What was like? Fuck it. Was it the max out on your on your gun cases because you kept getting caught with phones, nigga? <laughs> nah. Nah, but go ahead. Nah. Um. Shit. Truthfully, shit. I just don't. I just nigga just tired of jail. Nigga tired just of that, tired shit, of that shit. Nigga just you know what I'm saying. Tired of being told what to do, when to do, how to do. Nigga just tired of having that. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know, I mean, shit. If I'm just being truthful, you know what I'm saying. I just, I just, I'm just blessed. Uh-huh. You know what I mean. I'm just blessed because it's like I can't say, I can't sit here and fake like I just, you know what I'm saying. Change my life and just, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Don't do what I do and shit like that. Like, you know what I mean. But I just, you know, I I try to move smarter. You know what I'm saying. I'm a little more patient. You know what I'm saying. I try not to rush shit. Like, but for the most part, like I said, I I really don't force nothing though. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying. I don't yeah, that's that, 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 just... that's usually that's usually the thing when you catch yourself rushing, catching yourself, nigga, forcing yourself to do. I got no guapa. You got no leash. Hey, uh, uh, daddy. Can you tell her to break his sleep? All right. Text whatever. See if they can break his sleep real quick. Yeah. Tell him to get it from my girl. She out there. You can clip that if you want to. Just t- yeah. No, just tell her to it, give you a grab a leaf. Uh, how much weed you need? Just, just, <coughs> roll up all my weed, bro. All right. Oh God, yeah, we got to cut all this part out. He talking about don't roll up all my weed. That's what I'm saying. I ain't tripping. <laughs> yeah, man. But uh, basically, yeah, be it like, like rushing and shit, like, nigga, that's usually what gets niggas blamped. Like, a motherfucker got rent due. A motherfucker ain't thinking. A motherfucker don't think. Nigga, nigga running up in whatever to go get their money. You upset, Russia, nigga, niggas, I don't got the material. Just say when the nigga was trapping, the nigga don't got the materials to, all the materials to wrap the box right. So you just go with what you know for the box and just hurry up and put that motherfucker in to shoot it and that motherfucker get clipped. And the motherfucker could have did, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker could have sat back, what was two days? You know what I'm saying? What was an extra day and, and, and perfected your plan, you know what I'm saying, to where, oh yeah. He's the best one. Free the gang land, man. You know what I'm saying? Free YSL, man. Yeah, though, man. So I'm gonna go into this. So now, now that we got all this, did all the introduction out the way. APZ, cool guy. Uh, have you ever did some time in jail before I go? Nah. Before we go into these other topics. Nah. No jail time. No jail time. Keep it that way, cause nah. and guess what? If y'all ain't did, do y'all have felonies? No. Nah. Do you have a felony? No. Nah. All right, so can I get a promise that we going to go get these gun licenses? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, cause, no, cause we got 21. A, yeah, yeah, he's over 21, so I'll take you, bro. Uh, the whole thing is this. I got uh, to do some shit with the court first. <laughs> you got it. All, all right. Well, easy call. This is the thing, bro. You got to encourage more black gun owners. It's not illegal to own a gun, and it's not square to go buy a legal gun. That shit actually is covering your ass in the long run, and, and, and we got to preach that to the people too, though. But uh, So we're going to start at Ja Morant. <clears throat> Recently, I done went viral. Unk done went viral. Uh, a lot of people been touching this subject of Ja Morant. Um, he's throwing up. Two fingers in the thumb, which a lot of NBA players when they hit a three ball, they 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 do. Uh, I 
ain't said that word in a long time. Uh, I, I'm proud of myself. Hey, uh, so they they when he do shoot at three ball, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a motherfucker throws up the two fingers in the thumb and they saying this for the three. Then uh, you got John ja Morant that'll just hit you with the C though. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It, it, it chunk it up. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, how do you feel about people that didn't get quoted on the hood? It don't matter what city they from because, you know what I'm saying, now we, we, we're we in the era where we have to embrace out-of-town gangbanging because it, it's, it's just a thing now. You get what I'm saying? So if they're not really down wherever they at or ain't been today, or you know what I'm saying, how do you feel about these people that's in the league throwing up this shit that we, that our homies is dying about and that motherfuckers is really out here you know what I'm saying? Trying to change their life and get away from this shit. Trying to get some millions like that. Let's just start with how do you feel about they them throwing up the hood and gang banging without being quoted onto the hood? Fuck how much money they got. Um. Well, me me personally, me personally, I really don't give a fuck. I'm just being honest, I, it does not bother me. I don't care. It's like that shit. Listen. You wanna you wanna throw gang signs up and put that image of yourself out there and you know potentially put that target on yourself. I don't give a fuck, but it's like cause it's like at the end of the day, as a grown man, me personally as a grown man, I can't tell a nigga what he can and he can't do. I don't even know them people. Uh -huh. Like you know if, if if you if you seen Nip nigga uh, recipes Nipsey, you know what I'm saying, and that made you want to chunk neighborhood up and that made you want to chunk crip up. Then, hey man, listen. I can't tell it, you know what I'm saying? You 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 know what I'm saying? If it's affecting you, if the shit that you're doing is affecting, you know what I'm saying, what you got going on, then it's like, you know, but just me personally ask them like, oh, you not from the hood, but you know, you some famous nigga basketball player, and when you score, you chunk it up and you give it up. Chunk it up, give it up, bro. <laughs> he said, give it I'm gonna up, give it up. up. Oh, bro. That's me personally, though. You know what I'm saying? Other like I know how you personally feel about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I see how other people personally feel about it. But when they when it come down to shit like that, me personally though, I really don't give a fuck. Cause it's like shit. It don't make or break you, cuz. Nah, it really this don't. Is... Cause it's like, like I said, most of that shit comes from, and we just gotta be real. Nip put that shit on the map. Like, so it's like, so when I see that shit, I don't look at it and be like, oh, these niggas, uh, uh no, these are fans. These are our fans. Like, like when they when John Morant put on his jersey and he going to anything and he see the peoples in the crowd, they got John Morant jerseys on. When John Morant make a shot and he chuck up neighbor crip, like he's a fan. Mm -hmm. He like, uh huh. Like I'm dead. Up. Like I'm paying homage to them people's like <laughs> they screaming John Morant, he's screaming that. So it's uh -huh. like I don't look at it as like a Oh man, why are you doing that? I'm like, I mean, you know, why are you doing that? Oh, really? But it's like I don't look at it as like no. Oh, cuz, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like shit. Yeah. Like I said, most of them niggas do that shit because they see Nip doing yeah, that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? We didn't see Westbrook do it. We didn't yeah. see LeBron but, do but, it. But, but, but LeBron and Westbrook give back. Right. Well, no, I mean, Go ahead. I mean, keep but, going, keep going. It's your opinion. At, I mean, because, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, when it comes down to it, these are grown ass men. I'm not, oh, you chunk up the hood. You got Is it goofy? Whoa, whoa. Is it goofy you trying to put on for the set and you got all of this money? Is, is it safe to say it's some goof troop shit? Because what I'm if it's a fan? What I if, say, okay, I, go I ahead. It's goofy if you ain't even really tapped in, you know? Like, uh, we ain't really tapped but in. You fan, goofy, though, but you a fan, though. But you a fan chunking it up. It's a, it's cool to be a fan. Now, listen to this. Now, you know that it's, 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 it's ops out here that just want points. So if they catch a goofy nigga, or I'm not even saying goofy, but if they catch a, a, a NBA player and they want to just get their points and they want to, mm -hmm. oh, fuck, fuck the whoop de whoop, you know what I'm saying, and slap cuz and do whatever to cuz just off the fact that he false claiming and it, it, the, the, the negative side of it, do you think that that's a good idea for them to just be playing with the game culture okay. like that? So I feel two ways about that. Yeah. One, you're absolutely right. You should not put yourself in harm's way if you're not living like that. Yeah, that's and on a, and, and on the second part of that, if any nigga is goofy enough <laughs> to see John Morant and think, oh, let me tell him fuck what he be throwing up uh -huh. and go after him, then you are goofy. Sure. Because if any, like like I say, John, how old is John Morant? 23. Cause a kid. Yeah, Cause living Young his dude, life, bro. For sure. Cause like, I mean, I don't really know too much about him. I don't really know, you know what I'm saying? So I can't speak too much in depth about what he should do or what he shouldn't do or how yeah. he grew up or how he didn't grow up or who he was around, who he wasn't. What I know is though, John Moran is at the age where he was influenced just like all these other young niggas by hip hop, by the culture. So, so if if John Moran was influenced by whether whether he flew a straight life or whatever, you know what I'm saying? 
Who's to say John Morant didn't, you know what I'm saying? Is it dumb that it's causing the effect that it's causing? Yeah, yeah. Yes. You letting it get carried away. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. You, 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 you fucking That's off That's what your, I was going that, into. That, yes. If it's affected now, if it's now it's on and all, it's a, his off court, uh, uh, his off court persona is affecting the shit that he has going on on court. So now it's starting to fuck with the bag. Right. Now that type of stuff definitely is goofy. Now that's goofy. That's where I'm like, come on, bro. Don't lose your, don't lose your, you know what I'm saying? Don't lose your millions, nigga, trying to trying to keep up with us. Hey, we ain't on her. Cause we'll do it. We have traded fast. No, fast. What? How do you how you feel? How you feel like 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 would you trade your shoes to be in John Moran's shoes? For sure. I'm hood. I ain't gonna lie. I'm sick, so any day, right? Any day, I'm hood. Any I think day, used to play any... basketball, something like what? I'm yeah, six, that's so, what I'm, I'm like. Hood. Any day of the week, good come trade. On, I mean, it's not running from the community. A motherfucker come back and I'm all hood. that, but for a motherfucker, okay. So just say like, all right, Dayon just went to the league, right? Is we letting Dayon post guns, and is we letting Dayon even risk anything Nothing. anymore at this point of his life? And he made it, and he's not even from. Bro, I'm not trying to put that on him or nothing like that, but he grew up in the area. He's a Crenshaw native. You know what I'm saying? He's one of the first ones to make it that's close he to us like that. The, you know what I mean? Uh, like, are we is we letting him fuck his off? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It, I, I, I feel like it, at, at some point it got to be a mediator. Uh, and that's what it's like. I feel like they doing this shit with no guidance and they not understanding. Like, okay, one time, you, you, you get caught with the gun one time, you didn't know. All right, you didn't know it's going to be that serious. I flashed the blick. It was a legal blick. Woo, woo. Then you know that the NBA on your ass. You know that the money, and just say that you is from the section and the nigga, you got all these people depending on you. You going to flash another one? If we telling you like, hey, bro, don't flash no good. You you mm -hmm. made it because you know who you are. Because you get what I'm saying? It got to be because, see, we come from a structured environment. So that's what I'm saying as far as a motherfucker banging the hood that he has no association with. He's not knowing that, hey, man, we fuck with it. Like I said, when Draymond Green and them do it, with all these other people do it, they know what they're doing. They'll come give some footballs back. Throw foot. That's as far as they're going with that crip shit. They're not doing all the... Oh, with the blue rags on and uh, it's steady. You know what I mean? Like they throw it up. Yeah, that's who I fuck with. Like you know what I'm saying? I fuck with Nip. Shout out Nip. You get what I'm saying? Matter of fact, let me go to the Crenshaw District and donate to the football team. Let me help these niggas do these portraits and shit so, like that. So if and I'm just asking, and I mean, and you know, it's go ahead, nigga, don't hold back nothing. So if if job now now. I'm not saying that I agree with nothing that Cuz is doing. Like yeah. you fucking yours off, you dumb. Yeah. You want to come hang out in the slums and the gutter, and you want to come chill and throw your life away. And these the uh, people I was gonna introduce you to. Florence, John. You was gonna Florence have to come Crenshaw, kick you with that. Pull up yeah, like a mobile, Dombo Nelly sure. on her, nigga. We got a spot hey, for you. If that's, what, if that's what you want to do. But back to what I was finna say was this: so if John Morant, he chucking up neighbor, he chucking up crip, whatever he chucking up. If he was donating money and doing shit like that, then it'd be all right. Not. It would be. Listen. I, It'd be go. You, you, let me go ahead. Go ahead. You go first, and I go. In my eyes, I'm gonna go say, I'm gonna get cause a thumbs up. Uh, not, nah, I ain't gonna be telling cause like, bro, you doing all like posting your gun and shit. All right, you wanna throw the hood up? And all right, all right. But they on your ass about it. Like, chill out. Like, what? Uh, but you could, you know, you wanna throw the hood up? All right. Uh, you, you know, you supporting. Yeah. I'm rolling. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, that's what I'm like. Cause you be a young nigga, he come over there, he dump a couple. Of and I'm not talking about to no gang members. Look, this the is what community. I'm not saying. This not. It, yeah, this is what I'm saying. All right, say that they come build a basketball court in the hood. You like chunking that. it up, you making it look good. It's a lot of people. You ask me one question. Let me answer your question first. If he was donating, would I be cool with it? If John ja Morant wanted, and that's why I said I'm cool with Draymond Green and all of them, because if you want to, if you really shouting out the culture and you have the power to influence people over here and you listen to hip hop and all of this shit, you could come, all right, I fuck with the neighborhoods that I'm doing this, I'm 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 claiming this shit, I'm throwing it up, I'm throwing up the seat. Two fingers in the thumb is one thing. But then when you put in the you get what I'm saying, bro? Like two fingers in the thumb, everybody do that shit. They they, they that's three. Then you putting the C on it. All right, I'm fucking with their culture. I go over there these little niggas that's playing basketball over there, let me throw some jerseys on their back. Uh -huh. It costs zero dollars, bro. You sponsored by Nike. You get what I'm saying? Like, 
even if it's not to Crenshaw and Slauson, maybe it might be the Memphis Crips that's out there that, that you deal with or whoever you deal with. Cause it needs to be, cause that way, say that you coming to do that now, it's gonna be an older nigga over there that gives a fuck about you. That's not gonna let you crash out. That's uh-huh. gonna reach out to you at times like that. Just like with Gunna, and we gonna go to that after this. Just like with Gunna, Gunna did all that shit. It's a lot of people in the area that still fake rock with Gunna, and still be pulling up on Gunna and all that shit. Because guess what, Gunna was. Actually, a stand-up individual for the area. He didn't grow up in the area. You get what I'm saying? But that's a nigga who's been <laughs> quoted on and all that. It, 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 no, no. Now listen, listen to this. It might be not a direct. It might not have been directly to Bonelli pockets. But are we here to say that 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 Gunner has did the right thing in the community multiple times? <laughs> You, I don't know you can't, you can't, can't, you can't speak no on it because you have no knowledge. Yeah, of it. All right. I, that's what I'm saying. I'm not you saying. You kind of got more insight. You get what I'm saying? You got kind of more of an insight. <laughs> and he didn't, he didn't, he didn't gave back to the kids and all that shit. You, Free like, if you wasn't, so, if you didn't do that little stretch, I feel like that y'all relationship would have been way more locked into it. You get what I'm saying? So, uh, so, so, so from well, a personal I knew, aspect. I knew, I knew Cub before, I knew Cub before he started rapping. For sure. Yeah, I, I went. Yeah. yeah, first came around. Yeah, but yeah. um, Easy. nah. My thing is though, I'm just like, shit. We say y'all saying y'all saying like, oh, these niggas look out for the community, so it's good for them niggas to whatever. It be like it be cool, but shit, it's niggas in the community with money that don't do shit for the community. I think so and. Like, so but, be like, how we gonna, like, how we, like, yeah. It's uh-huh. niggas from the community that don't do nothing for the community, that's but, it, that's but that's it. it's, uh, it's niggas from the community that ain't did nothing to the community, but do you feel like, uh, hold on real quick, do you feel like if they put in work, they feel like they gave what they was gonna get, you gotta uh, think of what, 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 what type of dude it is, and, and it's not cool, it's not cool. If you got money, you need to. And you got a little bit of room to look out and just show these people that not, not. You know what I mean? Just the right way, because you I mean, giving a man money hand to hand is not really gonna help. Let's keep nothing for nobody. Let's keep it all real. Most of these dudes that got money that's in these hoods, that's these niggas, are nobodies. They just niggas that got money. Them niggas probably snitches. Mm-hmm. Them niggas is busters. The niggas it was not born and raised. I'm the niggas time. just got money and they get to uh, uh, throw uh, up t- whatever t- they want to throw up and it be cool. But it's some reputable homies that got money too that don't and don't get back. We don't even gotta talk about them type of yeah. niggas. Like you feel me? But I'm just saying it's a lot of niggas out there that's that's like we say, oh, John Morant chunking up this or that and cutting up doing this. But it's niggas that's eating off the hood, niggas that ain't don't do shit for it. Plenty out of town. Plenty niggas. niggas that's eating off the hood and don't uh-huh. get like don't uh-huh. do nothing for the hood. Like, you know, so and like, they it, it, it's clear to say that they stay away. For sure. They don't really come into the mix and they're doing the shit that we're saying is not. You know what I mean? The niggas don't respect that. I'm not saying that we respect no, it. No, a couple of niggas eating off the hood don't <laughs> got nothing to do with the hood. I'm six up. Um, six up. You know what I mean? But, I mean, you know, all I'm saying is all I'm saying is like me personally. I don't know what a nigga do or don't do for nobody. Like, mm-hmm. who's to say John Morant influence even came from uh, his neighborhood? Crip even came from L.A. How we know mm-hmm. it didn't come from South Carolina or somewhere over there? And he didn't know some niggas or he didn't went to college with a nigga. But it or... should be a mediator that steps in and tell him to no, no, stop. No, it should definitely it, yeah, yeah, be somebody yeah. If it that... is a big homie around, and that's what's making me feel no, he like definitely there's no got the bad. He definitely got the bad, like some bad people around. Cause, but I mean, like I say, <coughs> he a young nigga. Like I don't think that him flashing guns on Instagram—that's stupid. Yeah, that's done. I don't even flash guns on Instagram. Yeah. Nobody oh, in the my hood. Mama. Niggas in the hood. That, that, like that's what that. I like, said. Motherfuckers don't really do that. That shit is really like that's some dope. rap shit. Like that's it's some young like, young generation yeah, shit. I don't like, know what that's about. Like like. like Say you flash a gun and then you use it two days later and the police go back <laughs> and say this is a match. You know what I mean? Like it's not, I don't, I, I feel like that's the worst thing you could do is post your gun, your weapon that you that you out here really stepping with every day. Now, if you a gun collector and you do YouTube shows and you shoot guns and all that, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. But like for you being in the streets to even post a gun, 
niggas niggas go as far as posting guns with switches on it, For nigga, sure. nigga. Just be lucky the feds don't feel like pulling up on your ass. You get what I'm saying? Like that shit ain't nothing. Yeah, you know I mean, I I I don't feel that. Uh-huh. Uh, another thing, like since we went into gunning, how you, do you feel? First, I'm gonna tell you, do you feel that gun to toe? We can start right here. We we you. No, you ain't been saying nothing, yeah, nigga. You been AP-Z. looking cool, we gonna put that, we gonna put that Do you? AP-Z yeah, yeah, sure. APZ. Do you feel like gonna snitch? For sure. Okay. Because. Go ahead. Let me tell you why. Because even, nah, fuck that, even. That nigga put everybody who he on the case with under the bus by admitting shit. You feel me? And that's, that's snitching, cuz, nigga. Do you feel like he should have waited till till everybody went to trial? Cause he'd have made all this money with these people. Do you feel like he should have waited till trial? Waited, waited, right? Waited for what? Yeah, no, waited, waited right. till trial and waited to like, see what type of no, not snitch. Yeah, I'm yeah, talking about wait. Down, if we down. all go into trial, nigga, wait. You know they give oh, out all yeah. the best deals right before trial start. Like yeah, nigga, you is gonna get a deal to where? No, how you feel? Man, you know what I'm saying, man. Won't take. You know what I'm saying. If you got crimes and you plead to anything, you automatically. You know what I'm saying. But then, he went even further when she said, "When the lady like, you know what I'm saying. What uh 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 uh, is YSL gang? Have you uh you have knowledge? You of have them? knowledge. You have personal he knowledge. He said, yeah. So hey. any nigga that's saying that he didn't tell, and that lady said that you got knowledge of these niggas as a gang, and, and they, they commit committed crime. crimes and, and shit to further act of the gang, and he said, yes, any nigga say that's not telling, you gotta be careful around that nigga. <laughs> oh, sure. You sure. gotta be super careful around that nigga. Uh, how you feel? I mean, I've been sick, uh, so I go, no. All right. So is it safe to say that when we get hit with gang allegations and all that shit, say that they offer us a deal, uh, we admit guilt. Uh, whoever takes a plea deal, no, listen, you have you have been you've been you've been in jail before, so you get where I'm going with this. One. When you when, when it's a plea deal on the table, and uh, you have to admit to everything that's on the table. Yes, you do. So uh, at the end of the day. Do you feel like if they offer Slime a deal, if they offer Young Thug a deal, and he had to state the same shit in his deal, do you think Thug would have took the deal? Or do you feel like it's wrong? Should everybody just go to trial and not say why it sells a gang? Say that, all right, everybody get out today, nigga, with probation, nigga. And that's what he should have waited on. That's what I don't agree on. Everybody get out today, but everybody got to admit guilt to this shit. And they say why it sells a gang and they committed as a crime organization and all that. And everybody takes the case. You know what I'm saying? Takes the deal. Does that make them a rat because they told on their gang and said that they operate a gang? So so that's like a catch-22. So like right with the, with the, with the mafia... <coughs> Which is weird with the mafia because in the so mafia you allowed to tell on other people, just not show people. Yeah. But in the mafia though, you can't take plea deals because that's a main guilt. That's snitching. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's crazy because it's the truth though. Because yeah. like you know what I'm saying? Like when you plead guilty, you plead in. Yeah. You, you you're pleading, saying that you know everything saying? that you're saying is correct. And and even if they don't use it in this case, if everybody gets off scotch free in this case, it's noted. We can go back to the Jeffrey Williams case, that die where all several members from forty members from YSL admitted it was a game. So you mean to tell me that, that now they grilling somebody else off of the information that they got off of this game? That's why the mafia says that you can't do it because then you're you're you you fucking it open off up the other family. Yeah. But but unfortunately, unfortunately, is is weird that it's like that. But it's like if we all catch a case and we all fight in the case, and it come down that we all got to take a deal. And we know if we don't, nigga, we finna be doing some fifteens and dubs, and they offering fives. So we can't say that snitching because now now we gonna say yeah we 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 admitted guilt to the crime or we pled no contest or whatever the case we did. To the crime that happened, but we didn't give no statements. We didn't give no witness accounts. We didn't say what happened. We only admitting based off of whatever y'all say y'all got, whatever y'all evidence y'all say y'all got, whatever y'all say y'all know. We just gonna say we can't fight with that. We yeah. not sitting here saying 
we not sitting here saying, well, this will happen. Because snitching, you know what I'm Like I said, she, I mean, his situation- he was supposed to wait to if everybody so, took so, that deal, it wouldn't have been snitching. So, so, you so, wasn't yeah. supposed to do that, and it was niggas going to trial on that same case. You kind of fucked now, up because what? Because now what you do is now because it's like like I say, if we all crimeys, and then and then you say you say well shit, yeah it is a game. Well how the fuck I look talking about it's not a game. Like now I, it ain't no gang. I don't know what you talking exactly. about. Exactly. That's what I well, said. Well him and ten other niggas said it was a gang. I don't give a fuck what the niggas said. It ain't no gang. Period. I ain't a part of no game. My, my whole thing is this: him being a crip, right? Him being a crip. Him being a I, man. I, like. I, no, 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 no. I'm saying, look, I, this is what I feel like. How can you even say if YSL nigga operates as a gang when you're not even from that gang? Man, guy, I'm a and musician. All of that. You, I'm saying, you a musician when it comes to YSL and nigga, you from other sixties supposedly. So nigga, you know, say allegedly you you was a roller sixty and nigga. How I would have asked the DA, how the fuck am I supposed to know the knowledge of a fucking YSL blood gang? Like, where, where, where do I get that knowledge from? Why would they tell me that they operated as a gang? You know what I'm saying? I would have told my lawyer, like, tell her to take them three questions off the, the plea deal, and then I plea out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or, you but, know what I mean? But, 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 shit. Even if you would have played out before, before Thugger would have took a shit, you still would have been classified as a snitch. Well, first of all, I will, I'm going to trial. I'm, right. I'm going, me personally, but what I'm saying is if niggas is taking plea deals and you have to, if, why are you mentioning somebody else in my plea deal? I'm here to tell you what I did wrong. You get what I'm saying? I'm here. That's the only plea that I even believe in. Like, like I'm here to tell you what I did wrong. For you to bring up somebody else and what they got going on, I can't answer that. I'm here because I don't even want to tell you I'm guilty. Bitch, you get what I'm saying? So what the fuck about you? Know what I mean, that's that, that's just my standpoint on it. Like you already know, if a nigga plea out before he go to trial, where we from, you already know what the play is. You, you, you can't even. That's for sure a form of snitching because nigga, we trying to beat this shit, nigga, and you're they're offering you two years because you was the driver, nigga, and you took it. But you're saying you drove us over there to go mm -hmm. do that. You yeah. filed, cause exactly yeah. you're filed. And that's what, uh -huh. That's why yeah. it's like you know, yeah. That's yeah. all right. Like, so all them other niggas, all them other niggas, all them niggas, all them saying, niggas. Yeah. We just use it, the nigga. I, I mean, ah, he just happened to be the one with the biggest name. He's the one sure. with the biggest name because you got On Funk, you got Duke, you got the lot, and On Funk is Thug's brother. Mm -hmm. So I, I, it has to be like a, a discussion at some point where it's like, bro, they I mean, all they all folded on me. Go me ahead, truthfully, me truthfully, you know me, I'll be like. Who cares? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Them niggas. Like, well, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, for sure, nah. Yeah, but not these are just topics that no, no, the no, world. No, 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 yeah, I'm these are like, topics you know, that the world debate over every day. So I just like from 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 some niggas that's really been through some shit or whatever. I just was given a real standpoint because not too many real niggas. Uh, it ain't been too many standpoints with where motherfuckers understand cases and they and they and they explain that shit. So a motherfucker was just getting it from a motherfucker who's been around. Yeah, I mean, shit that goes down and nigga right is right and wrong is wrong. You know what I'm saying? That's just the story of your life. You get what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so to move on, we, we, we going to end up closing out in a second, man. Um, to move on, do you feel like the social media era and the camera era uh, <laughs> ruined gangbanging? Yeah, I don't like it. I don't hate Instagram. I don't know. I don't like Instagram. Do you think it it, it helped us or hurt us? Well, you said you don't like it, but you, you know what I'm saying? Social gang, media. Gang making, I don't like it. Cause niggas, you know, niggas, you know, niggas just be in there talking. Yeah. Uh, and the cameras, you know what I'm saying? How, how, how you feel about the social Everybody media area of gang banging? It's what, I'm talking about social media from YouTube to Clubhouse to Instagram to Twitter. Seeing the King Von shit and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, we ain't just talking about us. We just talk about... Well, man. you know me. Me personally. I'll be on Instagram talking shit. I know, cuz. I love it. Look. So, nah. you feel me? Look, I just... My thing be... That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm like, we here. We, we here to My to, thing to be talk. like... My thing be like... But see, niggas know. I could pop it on Instagram. Exactly. Cuz can do that. It's different when you and can pop like, it. But I give a nigga the low. Like, <laughs> nigga. Like, and I'm not Superman. I'm not... 
on her. I get beat up in real life. You know, nigga not hiding is what you saying. Right. You doing that? You doing that? And they know where they can catch about Nelly. The only thing I don't like about the internet is just like. You could be anybody you want to be on that motherfucker. See, that's what I'm saying. I don't like, like that. Like when shit. you put that camera up, nigga, nigga be macho, man. Nigga be like, damn, then nigga, you got the keyboard warriors. Yeah. Nigga said the craziest shit on Instagram. Talking they crazy to you. In the hood. See them in real life, come and niggas on, be like man. nice. Like, oh bro, no, bro, come on. Like be like, like, damn, bro, but you was and on I this. and and that's one thing I don't like for you is that you so tough that you'll drop a low. <laughs> I love you too much, cuz on hood. I don't, I don't, I, you can't, you can't, you can't fault me for that, cuz that's the only thing I, I, everything you do, I had nothing to say, cuz, but cuz on hood, fuck them niggas. If they nah, don't know where it's, it's at. Not even, it's not even that I'm tough. I don't even think I'm tough. I, I'm not tough. Let me see. Lighter. I'm not tough. I'm nowhere near tough. Like, not even a little bit. It just be like, shut the fuck up. I'm just not for real. <laughs> I'm just one of them niggas that's like, if I'm gonna pop it to a nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm a stand on what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm a man. Like you know what I'm saying? Like if I'm a talk shit and I'm gonna be on that, then all right, what's like? Let's be on that. Like if that's what we on, like if that's what we doing, like you know what I'm saying? Like, but I, I didn't calm down with that Instagram shit though, cause it was like you know, yeah. they didn't took my shit like you took the time tripping. Uh, you know that that's what they doing. When, when, you can't when even say crip on out, Instagram. You can't say crip at all. You, you say crip on Instagram, that. Yeah, bro, that's yeah, bro, it's crazy. getting crazy. See, blood is an actual word, so mm -hmm. they, you know what I mean? They can't never take that away from them. But crip only means one thing. It's not in the dictionary. It's not, you know what I mean? So, it, it, you know, they'll find a way to politic us off of everything, <laughs> man. You already know. Nigga, how you feel about the camera era and social media with, with gang banging today? Do you feel like... do you, and then I'm going to go into another question after that, after that for all of y'all. Hold on, let me just say this. Oh, go ahead. Hey, all I say is this. Just be the same nigga on the ground in the streets. Brother. Same nigga you is on the ground, be that Brother. nigga on the streets. That's yeah, it. Yeah. some points. That's it. Like, I don't have a problem with it. Pop your shit. Man, that's what it's for. Pop your shit. Be the best you could be. But leave certain shit off Instagram, though. Like, sure. all the guns and all, the, all that type of shit. Like, leave that type of shit off Instagram. Like, don't indict yourself. Like, you know... Like, it's cool to pop your shit, do your, you know what I'm saying? And don't brag about the score on the motherfucker. Don't brag about no skits. Don't no brag skits. about no that skits, little yeah, nigga, yeah. do another one. Yeah. Don't roll it. Uh, well, don't, you know, no you don't. Yeah, that's, that's a wrap. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? All platforms. Uh -huh. right, young, and you know, tune in. You gotta check that out. I know I could get a freestyle by the end of this. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I don't know if you in that mode right now, though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, that shit just be coming. I be coming, man. Let me see. Let me see. Sitting on no jumper. Bad bitch, she give me blues every time when a nigga going humper. But I'd rather not humper. Pass it to the Brody, maybe they can humper. Uh, catch a nigga slipping on his block, right around, no, I got the thumper. What? Uh, bounce on no feet and I thump him. What? Uh, Glock 17, we gonna rush him. The bullets be busting the nigga head, leave a nigga dead when I'm seeing red. Bang and blue, I'm a crip and these niggas know I feel. Ah, fuck. Yeah, I'm nigga, like, stop I'm, playing there. You know I'm, it's off the top, nice. bro. I'm, I'm telling you, he one of the hottest I freestylers, really, man. I really, can, I really can freestyle crazy, though, but he I don't really, know. He so really, that's, that's just, just, nigga, an hour in, nigga, talking shit. Then we just straight to a freestyle. Freestyle. He really got one of the hottest flows around the city, man. Uh, the, uh, we go get him in here. I'm gonna have you on the note. I'm gonna I'm, I'm start a no jumper freestyle. I, I'm not shout out Gina Views, but I'm gonna start out have a motherfucker come in here and make some I'm music. To get in front of Gina was Gina was just starting it, and then they end up. I don't want to talk about her bitch, but it ended up getting canceled out. Sure. But she got some new shit coming up, Gina Verse. You know what I'm saying? We definitely go tap in on them. Uh, but like more like <laughs> live from the block with live from no jumper type I want, shit. I want to do that mean? that thing with the microphone. Thing. Yeah, yeah, well, that's what I oh, said. That shit that's what I was gonna do, like a no jumper version of that. It's it's so many different sections. Just well fucking we can hang a mic, whatever, bro. Mm -hmm. But for sure, Die Bonelli, you gonna see a lot of him coming soon, and we 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 gonna go crazy. You already know, man. But uh, a peasy. <laughs> what was the question again? How you feel about social media gang banging and and and, and uh yeah in the camera era right now? Do you feel like it hurt I gang really, banging? I I really don't fuck with that shit. If you know me, I don't. I barely use that shit. Yeah, I'm about to say, are barely you a nigga that, that post every day? Do you? Uh, do you I, know what I'm saying? I, don't, I barely post. You just use it to 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 for, to I mean, watch the bitches and shit. You to slide up on. I mean, the I too. use it. I use. I post sometimes, but I, I really barely use that shit. 
Yeah. And I don't like that shit either, cause be a lot of niggas should be a whole lot of this. Oh, and, do. And just it's a whole lot of bullshit that come with that. But it also could be a good thing towards the hood, like exposing niggas who need exposing <laughs> and shit like that. You know, uh, uh, right? That, that, that's that's uh, a good thing. Up. That's what I, I'm not gonna right lie. There. Uh-huh. That's one thing. See, like everybody get mad at me when I do shit like that. <laughs> now that's how you like, get a nigga attention but, on Instagram. But shit. my thing be. We live in a world right now where everything is on the internet. Everything, the internet everything is everything, and, and that's what I, niggas, I was go get into that. That's what go ahead because you flip it right to where I was going. Respect the internet, bro. So it'd be like, it'd be like, I could text a nigga phone right now, like, "Hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? Pull up, like, nigga, like, woo, woo, woo nigga, it's woo, 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 nigga, ignore a nigga, nigga, have all type of niggas pulling up, DMing a nigga, whatever, whatever, nigga, ignore a nigga. Soon as a nigga add a nigga on Instagram, fast, hey, bro. Nigga, you not from the hood no more. Blah 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 blah. What? Nigga be in the hood like a day later. So, sure. That's that's if some that's some 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 no, 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 no. Put that shit on the internet. Everybody needs to know who they fucking with, bro. You know sure. what I'm saying? Like, get let let a nigga decide after that. Now, if you know he a snitcher, you decide to go fuck with him, and he go snitch on you, nigga. You already knew that shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't yeah. sweep that shit up under the rug because at the end of the day, snitching is what killed the streets. No, for real. Right. Nigga, I feel like somebody out there, somebody out there, whoever watching, create some type of thing. Where every snitch in LA, we gotta, you know what I'm saying? We gotta know. Yeah, like a bulletin board, like a or most wanted like bulletin every board. Every snitch in LA, snitching we snitching gotta around. know because it honestly, like you said, like you said, I feel like I feel like snitches should have to like register because it's unfair because it'd be like you could be hanging out with a nigga like like you could be doing, you know what I'm saying? And this nigga. The, Whole time he done told on ten niggas already. He done got niggas indicted. He done got niggas all type of shit. It's like damn, like, and he still try to commit crimes. That's like he try to act like it did. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. He still he still working to make you commit a crime, and he knows he got to get out of jail free car. He knows what he gonna do without when y'all get caught. It's right. like oh, you're going to jail. We're not going right. to jail. He I'm gonna live life it. crazy. He I, down for whatever because yeah, he because he know I bail it out off this nigga. I know what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna just get the fuck out and start another life. And if again. I do gotta take some time, I'm gonna take a little bit. That's why yeah. I'm like when snitches tell, I feel like they should get the most time. Yeah, like you told, it. like we appreciate that. That's yeah. cool, but, but you get, you double get life, years. nigga. Yeah, you get double life, nigga. You get fifty. That's yeah. not me for some niggas though. No, some, some niggas, some niggas, some, 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 some niggas still because because, like because at the, this is my thing, nigga. You was there. Well, you was nigga. You was oh hooray 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 when nigga, the shit so happened. You was all for it when the yeah. nigga got knocked down, nigga. I bet you didn't say nigga when your homie knocked him down. Like I'm telling man. You just killed that nigga, man. I'ma tell that nigga would've killed your ass too, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Then nigga, you oh yeah, you in the hood. You or nigga, you hear a killer conversation and you zoom in on it. Now you got one up on these niggas. So whenever you go to jail, you oh man, I know play for play. I was right there when they came back. They hit the burner over there. Woo woo woo. Like that shit ain't straight, gang. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I the internet motherfuckers be on niggas like, oh, don't expose. That's the only shit that I say social media. Like I, I admitted earlier, I fall victim to this shit. I, I be on social media and, and I expose my feelings and do that shit. And a nigga gotta work out. I, I just said that in the podcast that with me, China Mac and, and Crip Mac and them. Like nigga, I, I I'm the type of nigga that 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 can write my wrong. I know when I'm, you know what I mean, nigga, man, cuz I'm six so. And that's what I say about a rat. You, you, you know the feeling when you ain't supposed to be doing something and you do it anyway. You know, nigga, you ain't supposed to be doing certain type of shit. Even when them niggas be talking to informants and it, you, you know, you ain't supposed to be doing that. Like, like, how do you, that's another. How do you feel about a nigga that talks to an informant in a cell? You know what I'm saying? Okay, age, age is a factor, but we being say, fuck the age. You know, if you've been in the hood, you've heard about shit like this occurring time after time. Cause you go into a cell. It's a motherfucker that's right there, and you just spill your heart out to a nigga that you never met ever one day in your life. So, it, in in them situations, one, let me say, I've never been in that situation. 
So, you know what I mean? I can't, it's easy for me to say what I wouldn't do in that situation, but I ain't never been in that situation. But two, it be like, I know for most of them niggas, they be scared. It's like, you know, the police- It's for sure. They, they, you just they, get, they, they I, I know, I know, exactly. I know for most of them niggas, it don't even be no, like, oh, I don't know you. Let me just tell you all my business. It just be some shit like, man, they just talk, like, nigga play. Oh, what's going on, youngster? Oh, oh man, like, man, what you think? Like, oh yeah, well, it's like, you definitely gotta be smarter than that. For sure, for yeah, sure. Yeah, like, yeah. you gotta be smarter you gotta than that. But attention. it's like, it's like, oh, at the same time, it's just like, damn. Like you fell for that, like damn. But it's like I don't like, like I say, you got to be smarter than that. You got to, like, no matter how your mind running, you got to just shut up. Mm-hmm. You got to just shut up and just not talk to no talk to yourself. Mm-hmm. But you know, everybody like, you know what I'm saying. So because like the the thing is, is don't talk about your case on the phone or to nobody else in mm-hmm. that jail, for homie sure. or not. If, sure. Especially a high one, even if it's a homie or whatever, bro. Everybody is looking to go home. For sure, for Everybody sure. is trying to get out. Don't give, give a nigga no ammo. Don't give a nigga no ammo to get out of jail, bro. It's like, nigga, if a nigga know what you done, bro, like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that shit crazy, bro. But you know, nigga, squabbling down with these people in this courthouse, man, nigga, just, you know, yeah, you, it's a way to spend that motherfucker. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you, you could, you could, a nigga ask you about it, you respond, hey, yeah, this, I'm in the middle of some crazy shit, bro. I'm fighting a hot one. They ain't really talking about that shit. Like, you get what I'm saying? They say, they a legend, I did a hot one. You know what I'm saying? It's so many curveballs, but I feel like, uh, do you feel like drugs and liquor come into play? Uh, because just imagine they're coming to get somebody fresh off the streets. They could have just snorted a line of crystal. They could have just snorted a line of powder. They could be drunk. They, you know what I mean? They could be off a of perk wanting to talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you think- got to factor in all of this shit. And then maybe two to three days later, they withdrawing and they come back and get these niggas that's trying to get home to the bitch and the drugs. Do you feel like drugs come into factor? Well, I think initially, I think initially, like I said, I think it's fear. I think it's more fear than anything because the scariest thing in the world is to not know what's next. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and especially but just in the imagine situation. the intensity if you offer ecstasy, pill, right, right, you don't right. know what's next. <laughs> right, right, right. You know, you're right. I, I definitely think if you're off of drugs, it's gonna definitely make it, you know, more, more intense and more yeah. worse. But I think like for some people though, it just be like, like I say, some niggas just be scared and just be wanting to know, like, like, cause it's like, it's like, for instance. You see a nigga scared out his fucking mind. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? He, like I said, I'm not condoning of it. I'm not saying it's cool. Mm-hmm. I had to say the little nigga tell me everything the first day inside some tanks, and I ain't no informant. So you I get didn't, what I'm I didn't saying? see. I know you probably because, didn't have a nigga bust saying? down because his own case. Be like, a, trying a to confide you, in like, a like, like, yeah, like, man, like, man, what you think? Like, and a nigga tell you the whole shit, mm-hmm. and you be like, you ain't even asking, nigga. You be like, so hold on, like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Be quiet, like, well, like you, we, you know what I'm saying? You know me, bro. Like, like, uh, you feel me? So, like I say, for me, I can say for most niggas, I can say I, it's fear. Yeah. Drugs definitely do make it worse. But, though. No, 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 and I'm not talking about talking to the informants off the drugs. Now I'm talking about interrogation room with the drugs. Like, do you feel like them being in that interrogation room off they whatever rocker they own and they no. can that can that make a nigga no. more talkative? No. I don't fuck how high you is, nigga. They ain't gonna snitch. No, 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 not snitch. to a real nigga. I'm just saying to these niggas that's like turning snitch because I'm trying to figure no, out what, what the saying, fuck look, is in the water. This what I'm saying. Hey, no, nigga, look, like, what the fuck is in the water snitches, that nigga is just how, in you, huh? This how I feel about a snitch. You, and ain't no, I don't care what no nigga say. There is never a time in your life where you just wake up in the morning and say, if I get caught, I'm gonna tell it. You I, know that from the jump. That's not something that you just decide to do. Okay. Nigga, that's something you got to think about. Snitching is not something that's just normal. It's not as normal as fucking a bitch, having a fade with a nigga. Mm. It's not. That's not no normal. You know once you tell nigga, it's like that's a different type of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, it's like, I feel like niggas that tell, bro, them niggas Ben was going to tell. <laughs> that ain't no shit that they just, or when they caught that case, they just happened to catch that mm. case. That one time and told, but if they would have so, caught it sooner, they nigga would have found out the truth. Told. We just the nigga just and been some lucky. Niggas, some niggas catch cases with no crime ease to where they can't really and tell. Some, it, no. it, it, and it, some it, niggas tell it just saying, you know what I'm saying? Like you say, some niggas get caught by themselves and they, hey it, man, you got me. Yeah, yeah. And no, nobody never knows nobody nothing about knows. it. Knows you feel what I'm saying? That's so it's I not. Know. I don't. I don't feel like something like when niggas snitches and just something like, oh, something made him tell. No, he was going to tell. That was in cuz. 
that was just something that was just naturally in cuz like that wasn't nothing that just nobody forced that upon him that wasn't something that came you, you, know you, what I'm you being a young nigga, do you feel like that's the big homie's fault, or just us? Period. Do you feel like that's something that should be more talked about, like as far as the the informant nigga and the time, like like, hey, bro, you finna go to jail, nigga. This what you finna encounter. Da, 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 da. As a young nigga in high school, do you feel like it's it's our we missed the we missed the beat for not telling niggas that's what's going on and and really educating them at least on that type of shit. Cause some motherfuckers is is eighteen getting into these situations uh-huh. and they ain't never heard it's, of that it's shit. It's always good to get laced with with you feel me like a nigga you know, hear that guidance. type of shit in the hood, yeah, like but you said. At the same time, niggas know right from wrong. Niggas know, nigga so hear this like, shit. Yeah. You know, like you, you know, said. What you nigga hear to do stories and all that type of shit. Niggas know. And That's then at the same time, though, we live in a world where who the fuck these young niggas want some guidance from? Oh, they they yeah. know everything. I ain't gonna lie. You niggas don't listen. No, I'm not one of them niggas. You can ask no, 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 no. You they, do listen though. They not. They I, not. Niggas. They not. Like I said, we had our our own relationships. They, they so. definitely not them type of niggas on her. They they you know what I'm saying they different types. But like for the most part though, most of these young niggas don't. They don't want no guidance. They ain't trying to hear nothing that nigga talking about. They ain't trying to listen. They ain't trying to like you know. I wasn't trying to listen. You know what I'm saying? I ain't give a fuck. Why would no nigga talking about it? Yeah, like I, but as far as some snitching, that shit, if a nigga is mentioning it to you two or three times and then you go into a tank and you about to talk to a nigga about your case, that shit going to come up like, oh, Tapo told me nothing. You know what I said? Like, like we, we, I feel like we had, uh, our I mean, generation, we had more, more big homies that was telling us certain shit. My, my, the nigga I'm going to keep it real. I learned that shit from my mama. Me, that's, that's why that. I said it starts in the house. Yeah, that it shit starts did. in the house. I, you didn't. I didn't have to be no game anchor to know not to tell. I don't no, look. My mama I said that. that. You know, my mom was the realest nigga I know. I don't she, look. You know what I'm saying? Mine's too. Cause she done, I ain't. My mom would have been. Our mom would have been through down there the same type of shit. Right, yeah. Uh, so it's you like, already know. You feel me? I don't, yeah. That's why I say. That's why I said telling is something that you know from the start. Because mm-hmm. I knew since a young nigga. I knew since a young nigga. That's wrong. Don't tell, no matter what. Don't snitch. I knew that since a young nigga. So you get what I'm saying. So when a nigga tell, he knew since a young nigga he was gonna do this. He was gonna tell since the infant. I think that, that some our niggas moms, just hide it well. I think our moms need to make movies though, cause uh, cause it, mm-hmm. it it's some hella fine women out here. Like like I I know you probably don't want to expand, but you should definitely tell her. To start uh, hopping in them spaces and, and, and telling their story because she definitely can make a bag off of the lifestyle. You nah, know what I mean? hey, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, no, no, not even no cap though. She probably really can make a dope ass movie. That's what I was saying. I mean, you know what I mean? Just, just outside, you know, I don't know full detail right. for detail, but nigga, it's some, it's, it's some women out here, motherfucker, that you you never know what type of lifestyles they was living in. They women, like you know what I mean? It, right. yeah. it, it's crazy because when I be talking to my mama, like like if I call my mom, y'all hear me like my mom, the way my mama talk or whatever. Then I will tell you like her little background. He was like, never. never. I don't even be believe even it, even bro. my even my mom. That's what I was like. My fucker looked like who? That lady right there. Uh, <laughs> talking to her, I'm like, how? Like, I'm uh, sick. So how? She just like, yeah. That shit crazy. That shit, man. You already know, man. <laughs> this was the the the, the crib sesh, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? With Bonelli and friends, hey, cause I was just so, uh, say, with hey, Bonelli, hey, with yeah, Bonelli and for friends, Bonelli and friends, man. Yeah, no, for man. real, for real. Though. Uh, man, you got Brick Baby, you got you dog, Dang. you got Don Bonelli itself and APZ5, man. You already know what it is. No Jumper, the coolest podcast in the world, man. If it's anything that y'all want to get off y'all chest before y'all uh, get up out of here, y'all at, if y'all want them to go check out y'all music, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? Let a motherfucker know uh, what's going on, man. Yeah, I'm going to go tune in with that new you dog. I got new music coming out. I'm going to take that shit serious. I'm going to take it to the next level. It? Uh, U D G O G U D O G. I'm her. Uh, my Instagram at U D O G L X. I'm her. I'm sick. So you got a YouTube channel? YouTube, U Dog too. Same shit. All the same shit. U Dog. Oh, yeah, all platforms. I'm all it. What about you, brother? Oh man, you know what I'm saying. Instagram Bonelli underscore Don. Uh, YouTube Don Bonelli. Apple Music Don Bonelli. Don Bonelli, hey, shout out to my peoples though. You know what I'm saying? Brian free the Hurst, scores, baby. Come, huh? All them dudes in the hood that's rapping, you know what I'm saying? So. Free shooter, free all them. Shout out New Jack TS. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my nigga Tunchi on her. Check my nigga Tunchi out, my nigga Uzi. You know what I'm saying? Tap in with my niggas on the flame game. 
You know what I mean? Shit, you already know. You already know. Nigga, what? Yeah, just like that. No hey, jumper. Good.